welcome to bsc statistics student now in this class i explain ratio to trend method this is one of the method to obtain seasonal variations to obtain seasonal variation that is short term fluctuations in the time series data you see the what is the what is the method the first of all uh, uh, we have to now uh, fit a suitable mathematical curve as a straight line or a parabola exponential curve etc by the method of least squares for annual data the data will be given seasonally quarterly or monthly then what you have to do is we have to sum up for for example monthly data you have to sum up to the yearly data quarterly data for example quarterly data you have to sum up for calculate total for years yearly data and obtain the trend values you have to obtain that and then by the using the procedure of the um, straight line or a parabola whichever it is um, we have to obtain the trend values secondly obtain trend values for each season now you have to obtain trend values for each season that is either monthly or quarterly so respect to the by taking the respective years so and then uh, we have to express the original data as a percentage of trend values the original data as a percentage of trend values so which are called uh, uh, trend eliminated values also and then find the average of these percentages for all seasons the month monthly or quarterly and using arithmetic mean or median average the percentages and uh, arithmetic mean is uh, uh the most uh, uh frequently used measure okay right uh, and uh, finally what you have to do is we have to do one more adjustment we have to uh, adjust these index numbers so whatever these trend eliminated values and uh, the percentages which are called seasonal indexes and these seasonal indexes are to be adjusted with a total of 1200 for monthly data 400 for quarterly data uh, for example uh, we have to multiply the seasonal index by a constant k k value is 1200 by total of the index index numbers for monthly data and k is equal to 400 by to total of indices for quarterly data so which are called now uh, the final indices after adjusting the factor this particular factor k constant k right so this is the ratio to trend method i show you a problem to uh, know and to uh, identify the method it is uh, for example you see uh, through the problem you can easily uh, understand the procedure so this is what the data is given quarterly 1 2 3 4 4 quarters and 1 2 3 4 5 for 5 years the data is given here this is for example some sales of the some particular uh, uh, company the data is given now what you have to do is we have to uh, first of all sum up the data you see how the data is going to be sum sum up 35 plus 45 plus 41 plus 39 the yearly data what is the yearly data 2005 the yearly data is 160 like that for all years we have to get the total and then yearly total you have to calculate and then you have to calculate yearly average okay and uh, now you have to fit the straight line for training the trend values uh, by using the straight line for example i am considering straight line you can consider second degree parabola or a power curve or exponential curve or any curve any functional mathematical relationship uh, by the method of least squares we can solve it we can um, obtain it right so for simple city we have consider x is equal to t minus 2007 that is uh, in the one of the year middle year we have considered therefore we got the values minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 and then we have calculated x square x into y of t and so the trend values we have to find before that the trend values is lost and uh, after finding this uh, 
Yeah, these are the normal equations we got summation y t is equal to n a plus b summation x and summation x y t is equal to a summation x plus b summation x square. And uh, by using these summational values, total values, uh, we get the values because summation x is equal to 0, directly we get the value of a is equal to 72 and b is equal to 16. By solving these values, these equations, we get the values of a and b, 72 and 16. Now you write the strike line yt is equal to 72 plus 16 into x. What is x? t minus 2, 2007. After substituting this, uh, what you have to do is, uh, you have to calculate trend values. You see here, the last column we have to we have obtained trend values. You substitute here, t is equal to 2005. You will get the value 40. 2005 against 2005, it is 40. And then 56. The 16 is increment. You can easily observe that. 16 is increment that is after 40 56 plus 16 72 plus 16 88 plus 16 104 so what is uh, the b the value indicates 16 16 is an yearly increment 16 is yearly increment you see this is the value b b is the 16 this is yearly increment from one year to another year the increment is 16 because it's plus Therefore, it is 16, which is an increment from one year to another year. Now, you see, you have to calculate, after calculating the yearly trend values, we have to calculate quarterly trend values, that is seasonal trend values. Season means here quarter. We have considered quarter in the problem. So, in the problem, we have considered quarterly data, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, therefore, you have to obtain it for season. How to calculate? The Because 16 is the yearly increment for quarterly increment you have to divide it by 4 you will get 4 so 4 is the quarter increment increment for a particular quarter but there are four quarters so you have to obtain the value uh, for four quarters uh, how to obtain the value okay. how to obtain the increment for one quarter because it represents uh, middle middle of the increment is uh, uh, average average value you see, that was specified very clearly here. That was uh, clearly indicated given here. Now, for each quarter, we have to find trend values. The trend value for the year 2005 is 40. This belongs to the middle of the period, that is second and third quarters. Since the quarter increment is 4, we can obtain the trend values for second and third quarters by subtracting and adding the value. The quarter increment divided by 2, that is 4 by 2, it is equal to 2. Then for second quarter, the quarter increment is 40 minus 2 is 38. For third quarter, 40 plus 2 is 42. The, the gap now you see 32, 38 minus 38 and 42, it is 4. Increment is 4, you can observe. So now by taking subtraction, you see here now, I am going directly to table. 2005, we have, I have explained that uh, this is uh, 38 for year uh, a quarter 2 for the year for the year 2005 42 for quarter 3 hope you understand this is what the two particular values uh, clearly i am explaining this is uh, for third second quarter is 38 third quarter is 42 that which means uh, for first quarter is minus 4 34 remaining you have to add 42 plus 4 46 because it is a continuous year after 2005 2006 46 plus 4, 50, 50 plus 4, 54 plus 4, 58 plus 4, 62 plus 4, etc. We have, if you add 4, you will get all quarter increments. Hope you understand. This is what the procedure of obtaining the trend values uh, from the year increment. We have to obtain first of all yearly uh, trend values by using the method of principle of least squares and then we have to consider what is the increment, yearly increment. And we have to divide by 4 because of quarter. If it is for monthly, divide by 12. And so that uh, because uh, there are 4 quarters, uh, the one particular increment, uh, it is uh, it represents uh, the middle of the second and third quarters. Two quarters, second and third quarters. That is what we have divided. Again, divide with, uh, divided by 2, you will get the increment. 
you subtract and add subtract respectively like this 40 minus 2 38 for second quarter 40 plus 2 42 third quarter what is this 40 the 40 is the trend value of the year that is you have to keep in our mind the trend value of the year 2005 that is what we have distributed and so that the trend values are going to be calculated now remaining procedure is simple what you have to consider given values as a percentage of uh, trend values so given values as a percentage of trend values which are trend values are here given values are which are nothing but uh, uh, which, in, which are in the problem in the problem what are the given values you observe and uh, you have to calculate uh, as a percentage of trend values which means and 35 divided by a given value of the first quarter I am showing the first quarter is 35 of 2005 and we have calculated trend values this is 34 for the first quarter of 2005 35 by 34 into 100 you will get 102.9 that is called given values as a percentage of trend values like that you have to calculate for all the values you will get these values which are called given values as a percentage of trend values which are called trend eliminated values we are eliminating the trend that is uh, very very important after that you get the total yearly total get the total for a quarter for this particular quarter what is the total second second quarter total like that for all, for all seasons monthly or quarterly you have to get the total and then which are calculated as an average arithmetic mean that is uh, 1 2 3 4 5 5 years we have for quarter wise you have to calculate divided by 5 you will get this value similarly you have to calculate for average for all that now these are actually seasonal index okay but uh, for which you have to calculate adjustment factor Adjustment factor is K is equal to 400 divided by total of indices. That is, uh, you have to get the total for these and which is nothing but 409.442. That therefore, you have to get the value of K that is K is equal to 400 by 409.42 which is 0 0.977. That is 97% uh, 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 the seasonal indexes are adjusted which are okay. But, uh, this is what the factor to get the adjustment. So, adjustment factor adjusted to a total of multiplication by the, by the constant factor which we call constant factor or adjustment factor. K is equal to 0 0.97977 that is 9770. You have to multiply for each and every seasonal index that is 110.26 multiplied by 0 0.977. Similarly, 114.28 multiplied by K, 89.44 multiplied by 0 0.977, 95.44 multiplied by 0 0.977. You will get the respective seasonal index. Now, final adjusted seasonal index are this, these 107.7, 111.7, 87.4, 93.2, which means they have to concentrate. For example, this is some particular regarding some sales of a particular business, business person. Then for the in this quarter, the business is more. They have to concentrate on second quarter of every year. And uh, uh, they, have to, they have to also concentrate secondly on the first quarter. These two are, which uh, in these two particular season, uh, the improvement of the sales is going to be observed. There is more demand. Uh, there is more demand of a particular variable. Therefore, you have to observe this. They have to concentrate uh, their business on these two, two particular seasons. So, in these two particular seasons, there is a, some particular, uh, some kind of uh, what you, whatever you call not usual business is going to be observed here. There is uh, some particular downward tendency that is uh, a little bit of uh, 10 to 20, 15 percent, 10 to 13 percent, that is 13 percent of uh, uh, business uh, is not the you uh, not of usual pattern like like that so therefore according to this they have to plan and uh, if it is for example it is of the some kind of uh, business variable 
economic economics uh, or economic conditions uh, whatever you consider uh, some particular uh, variable it depends on the variable so this is what i can explain and the, how much uh, concentration uh, is to be paid uh, on the on, on a particular season and that's what uh, we can explain the, uh, by using this particular ratio to trend method and so that uh, uh, we can identify the uh, seasonal indexes uh, and so that uh, season wise how the a particular economic variable it is uh, going to be changed and uh, what effort is going to be made on that particular season that is going to be uh, seriously thought. Thank you. Thank you very much.